Hello, welcome back to the Horror Next Door. We just have a few quick things we want to address, things that we wanted to announce uh, before we get with the video. Thank you so much for 250 subscribers. We're super excited about this landmark. And our next big goal is 1,000. So if you can help us reach that goal by subscribing, if you haven't already. If you have, let your friends or anyone else into horror know about our awesome channel. Yes, help us get 1,000. So the second thing we wanted to say is we now officially have a Twitter page. It's at Horror Next Door. Uh, Twitter won't let you have more than 15 characters, so it's at Horror Next Door. Um, anything about the channel, updates, uh, just keep in the know. Uh, follow us on Twitter so you know what's going on. And don't forget we have an Instagram page, which is a little bit different. We post movies that we're watching on there, which right now are mostly uh, 80s movies. And we will never have a Facebook page. No. Oh, and the Instagram handle is the Horror Next Door. It's the full thing. <laughs> no Facebook for us. Yes, we will never have a Facebook page, only Instagram and Twitter. That's it. So the last thing we wanted to announce, if you couldn't tell already by our shirts is that we now have an official store on Teespring. So right now there's very minimal designs up there, but we're gonna be posting more and more as time goes by. But any anything that you purchased on there will directly support us and the channel. So check it out, maybe you'll see something you like. And follow us on Twitter and you'll get updates when we release new yeah, updates, designs, uh, discount speaking, codes, all kinds of things. Speaking of new designs, uh, we do have a limited edition run up right now for Christmas. We're calling it the Merry Hexmas shirt. It's a really cool uh, little pentagram made of garland that I designed and it'll only be up now until December 31st. You can get a sweatshirt or a t-shirt, and you can get it in a couple different forms. So check out the store, see if you like it. It's a pretty cool design to wear to your holiday party. <laughs> yeah. So again, thank you for 250 subscribers. Help us reach our next milestone of 1,000. Follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram. Check out the store, buy some merch if you want. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> yes, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And now on to the trailers. Welcome back. Here are our favorite horror movie trailers for November 2019. Not that many trailers this month, so let's get into it. First, we have Invisible Man. When Cecilia's abusive ex takes his own life and leaves her fortunes, she suspects his death was a hoax. As a series of coincidences turn lethal, Cecilia works to prove that she is being hunted by someone nobody can see. Invisible Man is written and directed by Lee Wanell the writer of several of the Saw films and director of Upgrade and Insidious Chapter 3. This movie stars Elizabeth Moss from Mad Men and Us, among other things. I do think she's a great actress, so I'm looking forward to seeing her in this. When I first watched the trailer, I thought it looked a bit goofy at first, but as it went on, it, I got more interested in it, and I'm a huge fan of Lee Whannell, so I'm sure I'm going to enjoy this movie. I do like the idea of him faking his death and quote-unquote haunting his ex-wife. I like that too. I'm gonna haunt you one day. Feedback. A radio star experiences the worst night of his life when stalkers assault the radio station where he's working. It's basically like a horror movie version of Airheads! The film stars Richard Brake of 31 and Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 and the recent 3 from Hell. It also stars Anthony Head from Repo to Genetic Opera, which if you haven't seen, you need to check it out. It's great. Based on the trailer, though, I didn't see either one of them, so I'm suspecting they're probably two of the masked men. I'm not sure how many there actually are. Speaking of the masks, uh, the masks in the movie look clean and basic, but they kind of come across a little disturbing, so I like that. I thought the fire shot in the trailer towards the end looked really cool. I'm really interested to know what the heck's going on. Is there a bomb going off or something? Like, it's a radio station. I don't know what the heck's going on. Fire. I'm interested to know what their motivation is for doing this. 
We have a feeling based on the shot near the end of the trailer that the daughter, or who we assume is the DJ guy's daughter, is in on the attack in some way. Perhaps something to do with money. It's all about the Benjamin's baby. Yes, yeah, similar to how your next played out. Yes. Killer therapy. A mentally unstable young man goes on a mission to hunt down and murder all the therapists he blames for messing up his mind and his life. The movie stars PJ Souls from the 1978 classic Halloween and The Devil's Rejects, Adrian King, who played Annie in the also classic original Friday the 13th and Friday the 13th Part 2, and also stars Tom Matthews from my favorite Friday the 13th Part 6 and Return of the Living Dead. The quick shot of the main guy swinging a baseball bat at the man's head looks like it could be pretty brutal. If they showed us a glimpse of that in the trailer, we're wondering what things they didn't show us. I'm curious if the main character really did get messed up by all the doctors that treated him, or if he's just already messed up and blaming them for how he is, and now apparently seeking revenge on them and trying to harm or kill them. I'm interested in seeing how that plays out. Well, that's the video. Thanks for watching. We'll be back again next month with some more of our favorite horror movie trailers. Please leave us a like and subscribe. Thank you.